right, all right, everybody. Uh, look, you know, I was just out in L.A. and I had a chance to meet up with my buddy and talk show uh, King. He is the King, Dr. Phil. Now, he's a cool dude, but uh, I just feel like we got a little score to settle because when he was last here, I warned him that my show was gonna be on his tail. Check it out, here it is. Did you have any idea that you're on my vision board? No, I didn't, but somebody was telling me about this vision board, so tell me about that, fess up. You are the reigning king of daytime TV. So I put you on my vision board because you have the number on your show that I want on my show. Because I get the number on my show that you got on your show, <laughs> well, here's what happened during the clash of the talk show titans. Dr. Phil. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Well, well. You know why I'm here. I know why I'm here. You know I know why I'm here. And these cameras following us, they all know why I'm here. It's because I want the same ratings you got, buddy. I'm coming after my share of the crown of daytime TV. Well, I guess there's only one way to settle this. Let's get on with it. Get ready for the biggest showdown in daytime history, the clash of the Titan talk show. What? <laughs> clash of the Titan daytime talk show. I think what you mean is let's get ready for the clash of the talk show titans. So where's the chopper? Look, I know one thing. I know it needs to get here because we're both really busy. That's for sure. You got a lot going on these days. I saw your new book, 2020 Diet, on yeah. the New York Times bestseller yeah, list. Well, Congratulations uh, on looking, that one, buddy. Uh, looking like a red on book, huh? Huh, you do? I like that. That yeah. looks good. Yeah. Not as good as this, yeah, but I'm, pretty good. I don't know. Give me a 360. No, I don't do that. I didn't read the book. Yeah. What else you got going on, man? Anything special on the show coming up? Next on Dr. Phil, we got woman voted mother of the year, turns into a stalker. Hey, great yeah. Mother's Day show. Yeah. I tell you what, why don't me and you get to the real show, Philly? Let's stop all this fooling around, this hanky-panky. Let's get on with it, buddy. It's the clash, clash of, of the, the talk, talk show titans. After you? No, nah, you go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, I, I insist. Yeah, did you just cuss me? No, I didn't cuss well, Go ahead, Dave. Just go on and get in there. Yeah, we're going to get out here and see what's going on. All right, so first challenge is something that we're both pretty good at. That's giving advice. But today, we're turning it into a competition. See, we have this booth, and when someone comes up to us with a question, each gets 60 seconds to give our best advice. They choose whose advice they want to follow, and then that person wins the round. Okay, have here a we seat. go. Come on up, ma'am. What can okay. we do for you? Well, I go first. No, I was just, I was inviting her. It's my well, challenge. Don't be sucking up to my guest. <laughs> okay, what's your name? My name's Haley. Your time is starting. Uh, okay. What's your question? Why do men flirt with the bitchy girls and want them and not the nice girls? Let's go, Philly. 
men are insecure. Men just simply don't want to put it out there. But that's not somebody they're going to want to spend any long term with because they know <laughs> if she's doing it with them, she's doing it with the next guy that comes along and the next guy that comes along and the next guy that comes along. The guys that get in line for the town punch, you don't want that. You want the guy that sees through it. <laughs> You've heard the question. You're on. Go. Ready. You got your clock running. See, what you do is you, you spend a lot of time talking and stuff. Let's just get down to the real answer. You ready, ma'am? I'm ready. Man. Uh, oh, she's, <laughs> just went off, sorry. <laughs> 22 seconds gone by. I can nail this in three seconds. You ready? OK. Men like hookers. <laughs> Bam, that's it. That's it. Wrap that up in a nutshell. <laughs> Hey, whose advice you want to take? I go with the long wind. They still like hookers. All right, sir, what can I do for you? Uh, so, I have a good friend who has a girlfriend that's borderline insane, and uh, her irrational, destructive behavior has kind of turned him into a shell of the man he once was. Do you have any advice on how to get rid of her? You as a friend, there's really nothing you could do except offer support to the poor guy right there. But obviously, she's doing something that he enjoys. And you've got to find a way to counteract the bedroom activity. That's not worth losing the rest of life's wonderful and full activities just to sleep with somebody. Yeah, you got it. You, you up. Have I started yet? Yeah, we. our mind has. Okay, you can't pick your friend's friends. What you can do is pull him to the side and say, listen, I just got to tell you, love you, don't love everything you do. A friend would tell you if you were smelling funny, and I hope you get away from her. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I gave you six seconds. That was a good answer. I like that one. No, I'll oh, take oh, the oh, first one. Oh, 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 but that oh, was oh. a good answer. You're yeah, not that, getting that, my nickel. Yeah, well, I, I won the first one. You didn't get squat. Men like cheap women. That would still work. That's well, true. <laughs> whose advice did you like, Jason? I have to go with Steve. <laughs> <laughs> work it out, baby. That's what it is. Tell him about it. Thank <laughs> yeah, you, guys. It's tied up. Hey, sister. Hi, Steve. How are you? See you, girl. Thank you. Oh, okay. I like that color. Oh, right. Yeah, all right. I you. get it. I get it. What's your question? My question is about weight loss. Girl, you look beautiful oh. just the way you are. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I'm it's that. It, that's Steve. the way it's going to be. Oh, Steve, I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, but yeah. I've been thinking about getting hypnotized. You think that'll work? What you got to do is change your lifestyle. Because the truth is, you got to program things in such a way that you can't eat what isn't there, that you surround yourself with people that will support you getting to the weight you want, people that support you. Time is up, you're, you're still after. talking. And you can make it work out for you just fine. Why don't you just give her a book? Why are you bringing up books? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's your turn. You ready for this? Black people don't do hypnotism. Culturally, it's just oh, you not had to play to that card. Yeah, we're you? playing the race you card. You had to play <laughs> the card. Don't do hypnotism. Oh, step, step up and, here, sister. And step, step up, up here, sister. sister. And yeah, probably somebody it. white going to hypnotize you. And you don't know when you're going to be able to come back out of it. Yeah, and act like a success, think like a success. And that weight will just pop. Oof. Goes the magic dragon. We both got books. Oh. Act like a lady, think like a man, all right? Okay. You didn't bring your other books, did what you? What is this, a word. flea market? Yeah, and here you go. Oh, thank you. No oh, problem at all. I love you, Steve. That's the feel I'm going to do smooth. Thank you so thank much. You. <laughs> you just be turning in your NAACP card after this one, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Play the race card, and then you don't read the race card. All right, okay. that's the end of round one. You win round one. That's it. Find out how this ends right after the break, folks.